Hi, this is David at Mash IT. This was a nice unexpected surprise today. Samsung just sent us through the Galaxy Book 2 Pro. I ordered this a little while ago, completely forgot about it, and then just had a message this morning saying it's going to be delivered today. So this is something I'm really looking forward to because it's the first low-powered 12th gen CPU. Now this is the 1240p in here. So just to give you the specs of this model, it's the i5-1240p, 12th generation process from Intel. A 13.3 inch FHD AMOLED screen, which is something I'm really looking forward to seeing. It's got uh, eight gigabyte of low power DDR5 soldered to the laptop, so you can't upgrade it. A 256 gigabyte SSD, and it's in silver. Now, I just went for the base model because, you know, this is literally gonna be just an ultra book. I don't think it's gonna have that much power, like, you know, a desktop replacement. So for me, something like this would be used for word processing, media consumption, spreadsheets, a bit of uh, maybe like Photoshop. And for that, eight gigabytes is absolutely fine. So I saved the money, just went for the base model. Right, so let's open it up and take a look. Right, so inside the box, we've got a really compact USB-C and what is it? Super fast charging adapter. So we've got a really tiny and compact 65 watt sort of adapter, and that's really quite impressive to make that 65 watts. Uh, if you look at the size of an Apple 65 watts, this is easily a third of the size. Uh, now bear in mind we're in the UK, so I've got the three pin plug, and the, the top pin just pops out. So that's making it more portable when you're traveling. Nice little touch there by Samsung. And as you can see on the back, we've got just the usual USB-C ready for our cable. A ridiculously light laptop there. And a nice cloth, we'll have a look at that in a second. And we've got our reasonably long USB-C to USB-C cable so that we can charge the laptop. And a tiny little safety guide. Realistically, not a great deal in there. So there we go. Chuck the box to one side and actually open up this laptop. A nice white bottom and a silver top. But wow, that is absolutely ridiculously light. It feels like I've got a MacBook 12. I don't know if you remember the MacBook 12, how tiny and light they are. This thing is just unbelievable. It feels like you're picking up an iPad. Well, wow, for a 13 inch laptop, that's really impressive. Now, if we look at the sides, if we look at the left side, you can see we've got two USB-C. I don't know if any of those are Thunderbolt, I'll check in a second. And an HDMI port. And on the other side, we've got a USB type A and a micro SD card slot and a headset jack. So for something this size, that's actually not a bad selection of ports. Uh, so if you are doing a bit of photo editing, it's quite nice that you've even got the little micro SD card slot. Right, let's open her up and have a look. So open it up, you can see we've got a really nice white deck, a very nice feeling glass touchpad, and a white keyboard that's just backlit. So we'll have a look at that in a minute when we fire it up. Keyboard feels great. Uh, the hinge, oh wow, that's quite good. The hinge goes back a fair amount and it feels nice and sturdy. And we've got a power button there, which has got a fingerprint scanner in, so we're gonna test that in a second as well. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna literally plug this in, power it up and set it up into Windows, and then come back and give you my thoughts. Right, so we've set up Windows 11, and I've spent some time now on their Satchel machine. But so far, my first impressions, this is an absolutely incredible Ultrabook. The keyboard is fantastic to type on. It feels great, the layout is brilliant, and that even though it's backlight on white keys, you can still see it. That's something I like, because sometimes you get the silver keys, you can't see them when the actual white backlight shining through. 
The speakers are only average, they sound like this. Speaker test at 50% volume. And 100%. Not bad for an Ultrabook, but certainly no MacBook Pro. And as we move up to the screen, this 1080p AMOLED panel is just absolutely fantastic. Now, although it's only 1080p, that's actually a perfect resolution for this 13.3 inch screen. And I scale it to about 125% for my use, and it looks brilliant. It's bright, it, the colors really pop, and obviously blacks being an AMOLED screen is absolutely amazing. And it is actually HDR, but I haven't fully tested that yet. That will come in the full review. At the top, we've got a webcam and it looks like this. And this is what the webcam and the microphones look and sound like on the Galaxy Book 2 Pro laptop. Now, unfortunately, there's no Windows Hello facial recognition, but we do get a fingerprint reader in the actual power button. And I've been using that to log in and it's very responsive, so it's actually not bad, but I do prefer the Windows Hello facial recognition. Now, the trackpad is actually roomy and it's glass. It feels amazing scrolling around. Gestures are very accurate and work well, and I've really enjoyed using it on this machine. There's no rattle, it's solid, and a great touchpad for this laptop. Now, just a very brief look at performance in this you know, unboxing first impressions. And with this being the first Ultrabook 1240p processor we use, we want to just run a few benchmarks. Now, this is a 12-core, 16-thread CPU, and in this very slim and light chassis, it's able to run about 20 watts sustained load. Now, Cinebench comes in at a reasonable score for an Ultrabook, not amazing. The Geekbench score was pretty good for a 20 watt processor, but it does seem like these CPUs really stretch their legs when you can give them that much bigger wattage like you can on the, the gaming laptops and the much bigger chassis than you get with these Ultrabooks. Something that is a bit disappointing is it's just got the standard Iris graphics pretty much from the 11th gen and before. So, you know, if you want to do a bit of light gaming, it's gonna be okay, nothing special. Maybe the new Ryzen processor that can be released this year will actually be a better option for a bit of gaming. But overall, for the type of Ultrabook that this is, you're getting very, very snappy day-to-day -day performance out of this CPU. Now, I haven't tested battery life yet because it is only my first day with a laptop that will come in the full review because I have been a bit disappointed in this year's 12th generation gaming laptop's battery life. So I'm hoping that this Ultrabook 12th generation will give us that decent battery and reasonable performance. So overall, this is a really lovely little package. If you're looking for a slim and light laptop to take with you everywhere, I mean, this thing is fantastic. At just over 800 grams, you can throw this in a bag just like you would an iPad and not even realize it's there. With the slim bezels and it's so thin and light, this is gonna be a fantastic little machine for just light work. So if you're a road warrior or just a bit of Photoshop, and you, maybe just media sort of consumption, with this screen and this keyboard, it's just such a lovely package. I've been a lot more impressed with it than I was expecting to be. Now, I didn't test any of these Samsung Galaxy Book Pros last year. I think I've really missed out. So looking forward to doing the full review on this. Hopefully that'll come next week. And as always, thank you for watching.